This is an update video for the latest firmware for the Matcherbox 2 Pro. The Matcherbox 2 and the Pocket Master also have new firmwares available, and the original Matcherbox uh, should be coming by the end of the year. So first thing, head to the Sonic Cake website. I'm at soniccake.com. We're going to hover over Collections here, and then select Multi-Effects. From here, we're going to select Matcherbox 2 Pro, and then find the More button in the description. It's going to drop down and reveal all of the downloads that we have. You want to make sure that you're on update firmware version 1.1.4 via old software version. So let's make sure we're all in the correct software for our computer. To start this process, download here if you have Mac, there if you have Windows, just click it. We're going to get to these top ones in a second, but make sure you're downloading the old version 1.0.0 right there. Once you've downloaded the software, we're going to double click the zip file to unpack it and then double click the installation file. The installation is complete and we're going to open the application with the Matrobox 2 Pro plugged into the computer. Once your device is connected and speaking with the computer software, we're going to head to the window here, make sure you're on preset and let's click on manage. We're going to back up all of our presets. If there's nothing you feel like you need to save, that's okay, but I definitely recommend doing this to make sure you don't lose any of your data in case the, uh, the update fails for some reason and we have to reset uh, to factory settings. So we're going to click on Manage and then just go through and select all the presets that you want to save. So let's just do a couple of these. Um, select all of them if you want to back up your entire library. So we're going to select the ones we want to save and head to Export Preset at the bottom. Select your destination. Let's make a new folder. And it's going to take a second to export. Once we do that, I'm just going to double check, make sure it's all there. These are the preset files that we'll be able to drag back into the device if we need them. Chances are we don't. So we'll click complete and we're done with that part. Next, we're actually going to begin the update process. So on the top right, we're going to head over here to the hamburger menu. Click on that so it drops down and we're going to select firmware update. This is where we're going to need to select the .bin file. Um, so first thing, we're going to need to download that from the Sonic Cake website. I'm on the same page I was here at before, the Matrobox 2 page with the downloads. This is the very top link right now. This is the latest firmware version, Matrobox 2 Pro firmware version 1.1.4. Click that to download, find it in your downloads file, and it, again, it's a zip file, so we're going to double click that to unpackage it. Here's the folder, and there it is. That's what we're going to need to access. So we're going to click on the File button, and now we need to direct the computer to the .bin file. I'm heading to my download folder, which is where I downloaded it to. There it is. I'll select it. And we're going to begin the update process. Make sure that you don't power off your device while this is going. And just like that, your device now has the latest firmware. Again, I want to point this out. When I mention software, we're talking about the computer program. When I mention firmware, we're talking about basically the software for your device. So the device is now updated to the latest firmware. We're done here. Now, in order to interface with the computer, we're going to need to download a new piece of software. So head back to the Sonic Cake website one more time. On the Matcherbox 2 page, we're going to head down. This was the update program. This was the old software. Now we need the new software. So this is latest software version for Mac and Windows. Software version 1.1.0 for Mac, Windows, whichever one you need. We're going to download that. Head back to your downloads folder one more time. And here's my download. We're going to run the installer. Okay. I'm quitting the previous software version, and I'm going to open the new version. Now, once you've updated everything, I think it's a good idea just to give it a quick reset. Shut off the Matrobox 2 Pro and turn it back on. Um, now, last thing, if you do run into this issue, if you have a frozen screen upon startup, here's how you're going to fix that. Make sure that the USB is still connected here, and we're going to turn off the device. We're going to press in the menu button as well as the bank up and down buttons. So all three buttons push it in while we turn the device on. You'll see this screen pop up. And when you're connected to your computer, 
once this all turns on, you can release those buttons. We're going to head to the computer and select firmware update. This is going to run the update one more time. And uh, yeah, if the screen was frozen when you updated it, this should fix it. Now, last thing, and this is not part of the update process, but if you need to restore your older presets, it's very easy. Make sure you're clicked on a preset list here, head to manage. You're going to select the preset slots that you're going to overwrite. So let's say I'm going to overwrite these presets here. And then I'm going to select import. From here, you just need to direct the software to wherever you have your backups stored. We'll select those and we're going to import these presets. Uh, select preset import location. We had already selected that and yeah, good to go. This has been the tutorial for the Matcherbox 2 Pro firmware version 1.1.4. For more information on what's been added in the latest update, head to the Sonic Cake website where you can read all about it.